Good afternoon. As commander of Charles Sirfoss Camp Number 273, it is my pleasure to welcome all of you to the rededication of the new stone that we are placing on Comrade Sirfoss's grave. I would like two brothers to come forward at this point, Brother Dane and Brother Steve. Many of you have worked over the years, and we started on this stone about 20 years ago, and arguing with the government has taken this long. Many have done much work to get us here today, but two brothers in particular have gotten us here. Brother Dane got the stone here. Without his work, I don't think we'd be here with this. And Brother Steve has taken on the job of getting the pasty picnic back in business. And I have something for both of them. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir. Thank you very much. You both, seriously, without these two, we wouldn't be here this morning. So a round of applause, please. Yes, who's up? All right, let's get started. Camp attention, parade rest. Brothers and sisters, we have met here as Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War and members of the Auxiliary to the Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War to consign to that house prepared for all the living the memory of the soldier of this country, Joel Sierfoss. The march of this soldier is over. Let us remember Comrade Sierfoss here at rest beneath the blue skies of heaven, guarded by the silent stars that in life watched over him when he bivouacked on the battlefield or lay down weary and footsore, footsore on the soil of the Southland. May we, as we stand here by his grave, remember that it is our duty as sons of Union veterans of the Civil War and auxiliary to the sons of Union veterans of the Civil War to honor the memory of the men who st stood shoulder to shoulder on the bloody fields of battle, who so guarded faithfully, so honestly, and so well the sacred bonds of statehood, and who fought for liberty and the dear old flag. They have passed away to their final review, and upon us it has devolved by sacred right of heritage the duty of perpetuating the principles for which they fought. May we not forget the years, as the years roll on, that we too shall have battles to fight. That in time we too shall be carried to the, eternal, the silent city of the dead, and that our lives here should but fit us for the great bivouac of eternity. The chaplain will invoke the divine blessing. Uncover. Let us pray. God of battles and peace, ruler of destinies, and countries of men. In this silent camping ground of the dead, we come before thee, asking thy blessing as we honor the memory of this defender of our country's honor, Joel Sirfas. Wilt thou, in thy infinite tenderness, comfort those who mourn him? Wilt thou speak words of comfort and consolation to their sorrowing hearts? Look in mercy, we pray, upon the widows and orphans of deceased veterans everywhere. Bless and save from every evil the country for which this soldier and our fathers fought. Preserve in purity and integrity this country. Bless the members of this order as they have gathered in response to the call of love and duty to perform these rites of remembrance over one of our nation's preservers. And at last, grant that we may all meet before thy throne, and to thy name shall we ascribe praise, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. Cover. As we remember Joel Sierfoss, let us cherish his example as a patriot and defender of those principles he believed to be right. Let us forgive his failings, for he was human, remembering only his virtues. 
Let us so live that when the time shall come, those we may leave behind may say above our graves, here lies the body of a true-hearted, brave, and earnest defender of the Republic. First Sister. On behalf of the sons of Union veterans of the Civil War, I lay this brief with honor and love for our comrades in war. Second Brothers. Symbol of purity, we offer at this lowly grave two roses. May future generations emulate the unselfish devotion of even the lowliest of our heroes. Third Sister. Public for whose integrity and unity our late comrade Sear Foss offered his services during the War of the Rebellion, I deposit this flag. It seems well we should leave comrade Joel Sear Foss to rest in honor where over him will bend the arching sky as it did in the great love when he pitched his tent or lay down weary and footsore. By the way, or by the battlefield for an hour's sleep. As he was then, so he is still in the hands of the Heavenly Father. Let us remember those honored dead who did not return to hearth and home, but lie in resting places known but to God. The unknown dead. Above their rest, there is no sound of weeping. Only the voice of songbird thrills the air. Unknown their graves, yet they are in God's keeping. There are none missing from his tender care. He knows each hallowed mound, and at his pleasure marshals the sentinels of earth and sky. O'er their repose, kind nature keeps her treasure, fanned by soft winds which round them gently sigh. Bravely they laid their all upon the altar, counting as naught the sacrifice and pain, theirs but to do and die without a falter, ours to enjoy the victory and gain. They are not lost, that only which was mortal lies neath the turf or arched by southern skies. Deathless, they wait beyond the heavenly portal in that fair land where valor lies. In the great heart of coming generations, their fame shall live, their glory never cease. Even when comes to all Earth's troubled nations God's perfect gift of universal peace. He that loses his life for my sake shall find it. Brothers and sisters, present arms.
lucky today to have some of the ranking officers of the department visiting with us. One we have anyhow, we're lucky to have our own James Pepe, who is the senior vice commander of the Pennsylvania Department. And we have visiting today Brother Bill Fisher, the junior vice commander of the Pennsylvania Department, who is here from Scranton. Now, before we close, uh, will Brother Steve Kronovich and Brother Ted Zeman come forward? We have a new member to install. You are now at the altar of the Order of Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War for an obligation in which I assure you that you are taking this obligation. It will not conflict with your, any duty you may owe to your God, your country, or yourself. If you are willing to proceed, place your left hand on the Bible. You will now grasp the standard of the flag in your right hand and say I and pronounce your name in full. I'm Stephen Frankovich. And now repeat after me. In the presence of the great creator. In the presence of the great creator. And witnessing members of this camp. And witnessing members of this camp. I hereby. I hereby. Voluntarily and solemnly. Voluntarily and solemnly. Pledge myself. Pledge myself. To support and defend. To support and defend. The government of the United States of America. The go government of the United States of America. To offer my life. To offer my life. If needed. If needed. Be to preserve the flag. Be to preserve the flag. From being lowered in defeat. From being lowered in defeat. To always observe the day. To always observe the day. Set aside. Set aside. By sailors and marines. By sailors and marines. Of 1861 to 1865. Of 1861 to 1865. And do all in my power. Do all in my power. To persuade others. To persuade others. To do the same. To do the same. To be faithful, to be faithful in all duties of citizenship, in all duties of citizenship, to be obedient, to be obedient to the law of the land, to the law of the land, to obey the constitution and regulations of this order, to the constitution and the regulations of this order, and promote actively, and promote actively its objectives, its objectives and interests, and interests always and everywhere, always and everywhere. So help me God. So help me God. I now show you the badge of our order. The inscription, Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War, reminds us, us of our high estate and our duty to our country. We are the Sons of Union Veterans. May we prove ourselves worthy of this title. The ribbon is a union of red, white, and blue, the colors of our country's flag. The red signifies the unstinted streams of blood said that the blessings of our freedom, free government, might be our heritage and that our own blood is pledged to preserve the freedom and responsibilities we so gladly received. The blue tells us of that true faith and allegiance which our forebearers held in their to their country and to each other and charges us to be mindful of their example. The white represents peace which with honor may our country always enjoy. The motto, preserved by the grace of God, reminds us that without the overruling hand of an all-wise providence, the sacrifice of our forefathers could have afforded nothing, and that God's favor alone may secure the preservation of our liberties. Like the eagle, may we be quick to discover our country's needs, strong in its defense, and swift to carry out the objectives of our order. May you wear your badge long and proudly, and may it always be a guiding star to you in the discharge of your duties in private life and as a son of a Union veteran of the Civil War. Brother? Okay. Officers and brothers and sisters, I take great pleasure in introducing Brother Steve Kredovich, bound to us by the Secretaries of Fraternity, Charity, and Loyalty. Let us give him a brotherly welcome. going to borrow something from the Great Army of the Republic's traditions. So there's always a tradition on Memorial Day and days such as this that we strew, put rose petals on the grave of the veterans. 
And we're going to do that today for Brother Searfoss, Commander Searfoss, Comrade Searfoss. Brother Dottie, would you please come forward? And, and after I close, will each of you please come up, take a few panels, and sprinkle them on the grave? May the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and the grave of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rest upon and abide with us forever. Amen. Amen. Our service of dedication is ended. In the name of the Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War and the auxiliary to the Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War, I thank you for your courtesy in permitting us who are bound by special ties to them to honor our dead. Taps are sounded, lights are out, the soldier sleeps. So please come up and place some rose petals on the grave. Brother Dave. Youngsters come first. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> yeah. Attention, Joel Searfoss Camp, number 273, Bangor, Pennsylvania. Break ranks. Dismissed.